and today I want to make a quick video comparing the two main methods that Supermetrics has to pull in Facebook ads data into Google Data Studio to analyze and create reports. Now this is an example of a dashboard I built using Supermetrics um, for Data Studio and there's uh, two main ways of doing this that they offer, right? And I'm going to leave the links to the free trials in the video description below so make sure to check that out. But basically when you go to the Supermetrics website and you go under products, you'll see a Supermetrics for Google Sheets and a Supermetrics for Data Studio. And basically with, uh, for Data Studio, this one, what it does is it pulls data directly from Facebook ads straight into your Data Studio dashboard. And then for Supermetrics for Google Sheets, what it does is it pulls it into a Google Sheet first, and then you use that as a data source to pull into your Data Studio dashboard. Now these cost different amounts and they have different functionality, so I wanna help you guys decide which one might be best for you. And that really depends on the type of dashboard that you want to build and how big and uh, what type of business you are, right? So for the Data Studio one, the plan costs $39 a month. It's the cheaper one. There's one user. This means that you have uh, one Gmail account that you can use to pull in the data into Data Studio. Um, but once the data is pulled in, anyone with, ac with edit access to the dashboard can go in and edit the charts. But... Um, you're also allowed to switch the user back and forth, I think a maximum of three times. So in case you hire like a freelancer to help you build something, they can have access to the account and you can switch it back. Um, you have one data source. Uh, this one basically means, um, you know, like in this case, we're talking about Facebook ads and then you get three accounts per data source. This means that you can pull in Facebook ads data from three separate accounts using this plan. Now for the Google Sheets one, it's $99 a month, you get one user as well, but you get 33 data sources. If you go down here, you'll see all the data sources that you have access to under the pro plan. So like Google Analytics, Instagram Insights, um, Shopify. So you have a, a lot of uh, different data sources that you can pull in to your Google Sheets. You get a weekly scheduled refresh. This basically means that you can schedule all of your spreadsheets to update once a week automatically. Besides that, you can manually go in, go in and um, refresh it yourself whenever you want updated data. And um, I believe you also get one spreadsheet where you can do like an hourly update or like a daily update. So those are um, the costs of the two plans. And so which one is best for you, right? Um, this, so if you're trying to create simple reports just with Facebook ads, I definitely recommend you just doing the Data Studio one. And the reason for that is that it's super easy to pull in the data. So if you go here, here's an example. When you go to your dashboard, you basically go to resource and you go to manage added data and you add a data source and you scroll down to partner connectors, Facebook ads by Supermetrics. And then what you would do is you click on it, you sign into your Supermetrics account, you log into your Facebook account, and then you will have a Facebook ads um, data source that you can basically start creating charts right away. You can, you can, pull, you can pull whatever metrics, um, uh, metrics that, that you want super easily. So you can just pull in like amount spend by campaign name, by certain dates, things like that. And it's, and it's super simple, right? And you also have an access to your lifetime of Facebook ads data. Because with Google Sheets, if you pull into the sheets, there's kind of a limitation of rows that you want to pull in. But since this one is on the back end, you can basically um, access like lifetime of data and it's very quick and easy to use. The only issue with this is that when you want to start blending multiple channels together, such as with like Google ad spend, Snapchat ad spend, Twitter spend, what you would do is you would blend it like this, right? So let's say you want to view your Facebook ad spend, your Google spend, your Snapchat spend, your Twitter spend um, by month, all in one table. You would blend it, you'd select Facebook ads, you would add another data source and select Google ads. Um, the only issue with this is that blending in Data Studio isn't the greatest. And it works with like one, two, three sources. But when you start to do multiple, it becomes a little bit complicated. And in my experience, the dashboards tend to break a lot. So that's why I'd say that if you have multiple channels that you want to blend in together and you want to create more complex dashboards with like several different calculations, then in that case, I'd recommend that you use the Google Sheets one. Um, and also, if you have, if you're an agency that has a ton of clients, I also recommend that that you use the spreadsheet one um, if you want to build more complex dashboards. Because what you can do 
So this is essentially what it looks like when you pull in a report, right? So if you go to add-ons, you go to get add-ons, and then you type in supermetrics, then you basically install this little plugin, and then you'll have access to this menu here. You can launch a sidebar. And what you can do is you can start kind of customizing the reports that you want to build in. So this one is a general Facebook ads one. This one's like a face, like a placement report that I, that I used. Um, so this is the sidebar and you basically select the dates that you want to pull in. In this case, I believe it's a uh, year to date. Um, and then you can select how you want to view the data and, and what metrics you want to see. And then what you can do, here's an example of me blending in the data on the Google sheet first. So this is data being pulled in using Supermetrics. I've pasted in Snapchat data manually. There's Google Ads data that's being pulled in using the Google Ads um, plugin. And then, what I'm, and then there's also like a miscellaneous cost where we have cost by date. And then what I'm doing is I'm blending it all on this tab in the Google Sheet um, using a variety of sum if formulas basically. So if you look here, there's a bunch of sum if formulas where I'm summing it by the month by the month, right? And then what I'm doing is I'm going to use this table to create a dashboard, basically. So what I would do is I would go here, I would go to resources, manage added data sources, and then I would add in a Google Sheet, select it, select the tab, which is called month table, and then I'll just uh, click add in the bottom here. So once you do that, you can basically create a dashboard that way. And the benefit of this is that it's when you're blending in data yourself on a Google Sheet, you can basically go in and validate the data to make sure that everything is correct, right? Um, that way it comes out correctly in the visualizations. Whereas if you're blending it on Data Studio, it's a bit difficult to troubleshoot exactly where the issue is. Um, and honestly, it's, on, it's never gonna break if you do it this way because it's just pulling in data from this table. So it's not really that complicated. Um, whereas if you're relying on the APIs, like there's been so many issues I've had where I'm blending like five or six sources together and then the dashboards just don't work and I have to email them and, and figure it out basically, right? So in this case, um, if you want to build more complex dashboards, I de and with multiple, with multiple, I would say more than three or four channels that you want to blend together, I definitely recommend that you first pull it into Google Sheets first, right? Um, so... Supermetrics though is like my favorite Facebook ads connector. I've used several and Supermetrics is by far the most reliable. Um, there's not, never really any issues and whenever there are issues and I message them, they respond quickly and right away. So either way, you're not gonna go wrong with it. It just depends on the simplicity. If it's just a simple dashboard, definitely use the direct to data studio one. If it's a more complex one, then use the Google Sheets. Also with the Google Sheets one, you're also able to kind of just pull in the, pull in the data um, as you want. You can basically analyze it like you would a regular spreadsheet, right? So you, you couldn't do this um, with Data Studio. So that's probably why it costs more. Um, you can do more things with it. Um, and you can also basically have a lot more channels. But either way, I recommend that you guys start with the 14-day free trial that they have for all of their products. It's a really great way to, to test it out to see if you like it. Um, again, the links to those free trials are in my video description, so make sure to use those if you can. Um, and then I'm also going to have a few more videos showing you guys exactly how to connect Facebook ads data using Supermetrics plugin for both methods. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, uh, drop the comments below. Let me know um, what if you guys have any video ideas that you want to see. Um, besides that, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. Thanks a lot, guys.